Happy Monday, Denise Boyd here, and today's Motivational Monday post is entitled, Mind Over Matter. I don't know about you, but Mondays are the best days to regroup. For me, Mondays are reset days. But what about you? If not, it would be a great idea to think about regrouping or resetting your goals on a weekly basis. If you purposely choose to assess your actions from the previous week, you, my friend, are holding yourself accountable for what you have done. And if you make decisions based on what you could do better for the following week, you are setting yourself up for success in the following days. It's been proven that a person who can hold themselves accountable for their own actions or the lack thereof are usually some of the most successful people. The key is to accept matters, facts, or things that happen as just that, something that is or was, and gain or keep control of your mind. Now, when things happen, they happen, but you, you have to decide how you will respond to what has happened. Now, keep in mind that your response shapes your character, and your character shapes the decisions you make. And guess what? The decisions you make shape your future outcomes. So as you go through this week, reflect on the outcomes that last week's decision brought your way and decide what you could do differently going forward. For example, if those actions did not help you get any closer to your goal, it's time to regroup and replace those actions. Here are some action steps that will help you regroup and keep control of your mind no matter what happens. So first, don't let facts, actions, or inactions cause you to feel malice or anger. Why? Anger will only keep you focused on what didn't go right instead of what did go right and what you can do to ensure a better tomorrow. What to do instead? Accept what happened. Do not add your negative opinions or emotions to it and replace the negative thoughts with positive ones. Second, don't quit when the going gets tough. Why? Quitting when it's tough teaches you how to be a good quitter. And when you master the art of quitting, you, my friend, will become accustomed to quitting when things get rough. And guess what? You'll never reach your true success. So what to do instead? Keep going when it gets tough and prove to yourself that you can make the best of your situation and only quit when you're at your best. Third, don't start your day reliving the negative emotions of your past. Why? Reliving the negative emotions of your past ensures that you will be focused on and expecting more negative outcomes to come your way and you will attract more negativity into your life. So what do you do instead? Wake up every morning and find something to be grateful for. And throughout your day, make it your purpose to find an opportunity in any situation that you would normally add negative emotion to. The main idea of the action steps that I just gave you is to help you gain or keep control over your mind so that your negative emotions won't run havoc in your life and keep you from living up to your full potential. So here's my challenge to you for this week. Practice the steps I gave you every day and assess your progress at the end of the week. If you are not happy with your results, try it again for 30 days and find an accountability partner who will hold your feet to the fire and make sure that you follow through. And don't forget to let me know how the challenge went for you. I expect nothing but greatness from you. And thanks so much for watching. And as usual, I hope your week is peaceful, positive, and productive.